Okay. <clears throat> Right, so today uh, I'm going to do one of my trade routes, providing the game doesn't crash or I don't get any issues um, with, with the game, like bugs or anything like that, um, I'm going to do an entire trade route cycle. Um, I'm starting off, my current balance is 462099. Once I've completed the full cycle, I'll be um, opening that up again and basically calculating how much I've earned since making that. Um, I mean every every time I do a trade route I'll also try and pick up any um, box missions that are on the way so we do have that. Um, I'll try not to go out of the, out, too far out of the way of the um, the trade route because otherwise that kind of ruins everything. Uh, where we go, let's have a look. So just to just to kind of like improve how much money I'm making, I just want to make sure that I, I'm going to go to one of these places because again, if it's going out of my way, then there's no point in me doing the um, the trading mission. Uh-huh, no, that's not one. That's all date. These are all um, low-paid ones. I want, I want the high, higher-paid ones. Where's that one? It's going to take a while before I get to do that, though. Holiday delivery. Holiday delivery. Oh, there is this one. There is this one. Um, I, mean, I could, I could accept this one. Although that's the last place I'll be going to. A7. Oh, you know what? Screw that. If I have to go way, way over there, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Forgot about that. Yeah, fuck that. Right, so I need to go to pad seven. Ah, here we go. This this way. Well, I'm using a freelancer Max. I'm not using um, anything bigger. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not using a Caterpillar or anything like that. This is just going to be a freelancer Max. Um, it's kind of a low to mid ranged um, cargo ship. It's nothing special. I mean, obviously the um, the Caterpillar is the overall biggest. Um, trading ship at the game at the moment so if you've got one of those and you can transport a lot of gear then yeah you're going to make money fast however this is just a freelancer max usually like I say I do try and take some mission crates with me just to kind of like um, as extra bonus items to top up the money but again there are no missions in the list that were going to the places that I'm going to and when you start diverting to go to mission objective areas it, it takes time out of what you're trying to do so if any of those missions were going to the planets or um, outpost that I was going to, then yeah, I would be on that, but I'm not going to go out of my way to do extra missions. Right, let's get everything all switched on. Turn that on. 
turn that off. Give it a second. Wait for everything to power up. Right now, I can use this. You have to open your map twice when first loading in. We're going to go to Deacon's Research Outpost on Yella. That is the first stop. This is where we need to go get our cargo from. I do hate the way the front of the um, the freelancer rears up like that. Thank you. Please visit again. All right, let's pull this bad boy up. And I've been interdicted. Yay! See, this is what annoys me as well when you get interdicted every few minutes because it... it oh, okay. We're under attack. Let's, uh... You know what? Let's go attack these bad boys. What have we got here? It's a cutlass, is it? See, the Freelancer is not really designed for dogfighting because it's quite... Oh, yes! Although my Freelancer is definitely designed for fucking... There we go, have some of that. Let's give him the good news. See, but the turn speed on this is very, very slow. There we go. Right, that's, that's, him, that's him taken care of. Right, let's go back to what I was doing. So the Freelancer Max is more designed as a cargo transport ship. Um, I think it's the Freelancer DUR or DUR. That's the combat one. Um, the combat one has um, some decent weapons on it. However, there's nothing stopping you from upgrading your Freelancer Max to being a combat ready ship as well. Ever since they've added in all the modules and stuff, um, there is no overall real tactical difference in both ships um, having the same features. I mean, it probably costs you more to upgrade your Freelancer Max to being fighter ready, but yeah, they're both essentially the same ship, it's just I've got more cargo space. Right, so now, now we're going to go down to Deacon's. Okay, on we go. So it all lined up. Slow my landing gear. Oops.
Okay, here we are. We've just arrived at Deacons. This is our first stop for our trade route. Just going to land on this pad here. Okie dokie, alright, let's uh let's go stock up. <laughs> oh. Could've got a, could've got a little bit closer to that I think. Right over there. <laughs> Hi, Astra. Commander Alpha. Hi, Cream and Ryan. Greetings, Captain. Right, they're all here. Right, so let's just check what we have. <clears throat> Again, we are starting on forty six two zero nine nine. This is where we're going to start transferring over all our money. Sometimes um, I can get a full load of cargo, sometimes I can't. It all depends on how much is in stock and how many people have already bought. Um, I'm luckily I can fill my I can, I can fill my entire ship up with this, so that's 199,000 UEC paid for cargo. <clears throat> Now usually when you kind of um, spend this much money on filling up your ship you do have to be aware that sometimes you do get disconnection errors and crashes and you can lose your ship with your entire cargo on. Uh, there is no kind of um, ship recovery or ins you know, um, cargo insurance that you can use to get back what you paid for at the current state of the game. So if you lose your ship and you, and you get um, kicked out because of a connection or crash you lose what you've just bought. So it's quite of a pain in the ass at the moment because you are taking a risk. However, I do have the backup funds. Yeah, I'm, I'm left. I'm left at just under a quarter of a million. So, as long as I can get this um, all sold straight away, we should be good to go. They were supposed to fix the um, the, the cargo being visible in your cargo bay. Um, currently, they haven't because this should be completely full. Uh, it looks like I've got a completely empty ship, but I'm, <laughs> that, that is actually filled to the brim with cargo. Right. Power up the ship. Ship online. Departure handover. Stand by distancing to 30 meters. Um. Departure handover. Ascending to 30 meters, retracting module. Oh, there we go. You Retract landing gear. Retracting the landing gear. Right, okay, here we go. We're going to go in for the long haul now. Open star map. That's perfect, Captain. Okay, we are now going to go to Hurston. The first stop we're going to go to is one of the uh, the outposts. I'm going to go to where is it? I need to find it. Uh, I can't see it on the screen yet. Aha, here it is, down here. Of course, you know that I want to see your health. 
a little food snack you might want. Close style map. It takes just acknowledged. Okay. Astra can start chatting away. <laughs> Disable cruise. That's affirmative, Captain. Let's wait for that to slow down. Because I don't want to get interdicted and be at almost full speed. Right, I'll do. Engage jump. Right, so we're going to spend um, a little bit of time in um, quant quantum speed, getting to Hurston. Um, no, we're going to get interdicted again for the second time. Oh, these interdictions can be a pain in the ass. Okay, right, let's um, go to combat mode. Red alert. Oh, where is where's this? Aha, over here. Right, so I've upgraded my um, freelancer max, so it is combat ready. There you go, taken care of. Right, no other hostiles. My guns are absolutely devastating. Engage jump drive. Engaging jump. All right, let's try this again. Just shot past Daymar at stupid speeds. I love you, Astra. Commander Alpha, I am an artificial computer designed to aid you on this ship. I am not programmed to feel emotions or love. That said, if my programming allowed me to feel love, it would not be real. If it makes you feel any better, it is my main priority to keep you safe and ensure you have a comfortable journey. Thank you very much for that, Astra. You're welcome, Captain. This is the most boring part of the um, of the game is having to do with all this. <clears throat> right. Okay. What was I doing? So I was just um, just checking my uh, my phone. 
because there's not really much else to do really while you're just doing quantum. Um, but yeah, um, I'm definitely looking forward to 3.8. That shouldn't uh, that should be just around the corner. I'd imagine they're going to release that mid December because they usually do that around Christmas time before they close for the Christmas holidays. Um, because again, uh, the devs are real people. They have real lives and real families, and I'm pretty sure they don't want to be working over Christmas. Um, it's nice to have a break. Um, so I, I imagine that yeah, they, they're probably going to release the game. Uh, sorry, the the update just before Christmas. Although to be fair, that's probably the worst thing to do because if there are any game breaking issues or serious problems. Um, the game will be left in that state over the Christmas period and some people even though you know Christmas time is for families and stuff they still like to play the game um, and it will just piss them off if they've got a completely broken build that nobody's going to be able to patch anytime soon so I probably imagine if they if they got any sense they would release 3.8 around about January the 2nd or 3rd depending on who gets into the office first. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, the one thing I'm definitely looking forward to are the, the are the you know is the server meshing, which is not going to be coming in until later next year. Um, so there'll be more people in the server. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the um, the first stage of um, more p permanent persistence. Um, so again. Um, wipes are going to become fewer much fewer i think that i think they've said that there's definitely going to be one more wipe between 3.7.2 and 3.8 um, but after that um, wipes are going to be used as a complete minimum um, only if there's any kind of issues where they don't want you if, if they've changed any ships or any um, mechanics to the ships um, <clears throat> that they don't want to carry over from patch to patch because it could cause issues um, but yeah, the main the main thing that everyone's looking forward to is the fact that any progress you make during a specific build, like buying ships, buying clothes, um, armor, and guns, and also your final UEC wallet, um, that should stay the same um, from patch to patch, rather than getting completely wiped, losing all the progress you've done, going back to square one, um, and having your base money reset. Uh, because that means people are con able to continue to grind and not feel like they're in a hurry to, you know, grind enough money to buy a ship that they want with, you know, with the in-game credits, only to find it, you know, the, the server wipes the next day, or you know, the the game wipes the next day even. So that is going to be that's definitely one I'm looking forward to. Um, everyone's raving about Microtech. I mean, like I said, it's going to be the first iteration of Microtech. So when that does come in. Um, I'm good, probably going to find that it is going to be very, very buggy, uh, very buggy indeed, um, because I usually find that the first first builds are not very optimised. I remember when um, uh, when Lawville on Hurston first came in, and I personally found it completely unplayable because it was it was just so resource hungry. Um, I just couldn't really do anything with it. But now it's very manageable. So yeah, I'm just hoping that. They've learnt from how to optimise the other systems. Um, they can implement that into Microtech, so it's not a huge problem in the first time you go there. Although it's probably going to be quite problematic because, again, it's going to be a new location. Everyone's going to want to visit it, so there's going to be lots of people there, lots of ships there, and that could generally slow things down anyway. But we are getting close to Hurston now, so... Um, I've got a full cargo um, hold. Uh, the problem is that the um, the places where I make the most money will not generally usually take everything that I have all in one lump sum. So I have to jump from outpost to outpost and sell them gradually. Um, luckily enough, I don't know why, but with the freelancer max, I don't actually have to leave the system, uh, sorry, leave the um, atmosphere to jump between um, stations. I just need to be above 2,500 feet off of the ground um, and that way if the other outpost I need to go to is on the opposite side of Hurston I can literally just glide around the planet. Um, again it just seems to be, I've just noticed that when I've been in other ships it doesn't let me do it unless I leave the um, atmosphere completely. Whereas with Hurston and this ship I don't. Right, it's going to take a long time to cool down, and I'm going to get scanned. Attention, I have been authorised to scan your vehicle for contraband. 
You scan it. You scan it good. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm off, mate. I ain't waiting around. Yeah, it seems that the interdictions are still kind of happening um, just as much as they were before. <coughs> it did get annoying when you were getting it about in, getting interdicted about five times in one jump. That was pissing a lot of people off, so I'm glad that they've cut that down because when um, you ended up like coming out in the asteroid field, that was a pain in the ass. Right, so... This is our first stop. Let's try and get as much of this off of our ship as possible. And just a reminder, we started off uh, with um, 462099. That was our starting point. I'm going to try and get rid of all these medical supplies off my ship. And I'm going to go for the next trading run. I'm not going to spend too much time looking on the missions to see if there's any cargo missions to do any deliveries because um, <clears throat> I'm going to be stuck in Hurston for a little while anyway because um, I've got to bounce around a few of these systems just to get all this stuff off my ship. But if there's anything from Lyria to go back to uh, Grim Hex or anywhere on um, Yella or Port Elisar then I'll go for those. So I'm more than likely going to be bringing packages back to the starting position again. That is probably going to be it. Lower landing gear. Landing modules retract. It's kind of not what I asked, but okay. <laughs> oh, I'm still heading towards it. That's good. <clears throat> Cosmic rays. Atomic nuclei, mostly protons, that are observed to strike the Earth's atmosphere with extremely high amounts of energy. That's good to know. I like this. Um, I like this um, outpost because um, it's got all the um, all the trees around it. It looks really nice. It's a nice part of Hurston. All right, I'm going to come in nice and slow. Uh, I just need to see where the outpost is that I need to be at. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Right, where is it? Is it that one over there? I think it is. Alright, so let's just land on this pad here. Which one move get myself positioned so I'm nice and close to it. So less running needed. There we go. Alright. Open all doors. Right away, Captain. Power down the ship. Ship offline. Right, as soon as I sell something from here, I should start noticing the um, the cargo appearing on the ship, which is really weird because um, they're, they're supposed to have fixed that so that I should be able to see everything. Um, but they haven't really fully done that properly. But as soon as I sell an item, um, especially if it's not all of the items, because I'm, I'm not going to sell everything here, I should start to see cargo appearing on my ship, which is a really random bug that they have. Alright, so let's sell this. If I do sell everything, then that's a bonus. 
Yeah, so you shop inventory, f shop inventory full. So that's that's just under half what I have on board. Right, once I get back to the starting point, um, I will do a final calculation of what I, what money I started with and what money I finished with, and I can literally calculate how much I earned in total for this um, cycle run. That is providing we don't get any crashes or disconnects, which I really hope we don't. I mean, if we do, I hope it happens when I've got nothing on board, because that way I don't lose anything. And here we go. Now that I've sold something, we have cargo appeared on my ship. It's just so random, that is. Randomness. Unpredictability lies at the heart of quantum mechanics. It bothered Einstein, but it also bothers the Dalai Lama. Uh, thanks for that, Astra. Ready ship for launch. As you will. Close all doors. Affirmative, Captain. Departure handover. Ascending, retracting modules, and in you. Okay, why is my why is my Twitch gone all funny? Columba is a small, faint constellation created in the late 16th century. Its name is Latin for Dove. It is located just south of Canis Major, Olympus. Columba was created by Dutch astronomer Petrus Plancius in 1592 in order to differentiate the unformed stars of the large constellation Are we back yet? Major. Plancius first depicted Columba on the small celestial planet spheres of his large wall map of Yeah, we're back again. Sorry for that. I don't know what happened there, but the, the, the stream went funny. Yeah, we're back. Right, okay. Uh, open star map. Open star map. Acknowledged, Captain. Okay, where are we now? We are somewhere. That doesn't help, does it? Blazer is a compact quasar, an active galaxy Badly. with a reactive and highly variable radio, electromagnetic, and optical Close star map. Acknowledged. Right, as I was saying earlier, um, I don't need to be outside the atmosphere in order to do this. Um, I'm not sure if it's just this ship or it's any ship, um, but I did have problems doing this with the Avenger. It wouldn't let me do this in the Avenger. However, I'm only 6,000 feet off of the ground and I can get to the other side of the planet without having to li fully leave the atmosphere. So let's see. <clears throat> Here we go. So I'm going to the second um, second station now that I need to go to. I don't know why, but I had a little bit of a um, a little bit of a glitch there in the stream. Everything kind of like froze for a second. My, my gameplay was fine. I was still getting um, all my frames, but for some reason the, the stream just kind of cut out for a minute there. You didn't miss anything, so it's all good. Hey, thank you very much for the follow there, Panic Attack. How you doing? It should be this one here. That's the one. Yeah, I will follow you once I get out the game. Um, I'll I'll check my um I'll check check my Twitch and I will follow you. So yeah. For some reason, I have to wait until this finishes calibrating. Otherwise, um, that calibrating noise won't stop. There we go. 
seems to be a new issue with this um, with this build. <clears throat> okay, we're now going down to um, Hadley Outpost. Enable the music pack. I don't think that's working, is it? Initialize the music pack. Ship radio there we is go. online and functioning correctly. That's what I wanted. Ready. Play all variants. Playing all variants. Volume five percent. Volume has been set to. Percent. Oh, back up. Right, we're down to... We're getting quite close now. There is a message for you. Landing gear. Landing gear raised. Lights on. Heard. Executing now. Thank you. You're welcome, Captain. Okay, here is Hadley. This is this is the second place. <clears throat> I should probably lose most of the cargo here anyway. Um, I'm hoping I can get rid of most of it because I don't want to be doing this for too much longer. I haven't accepted any mission crates, so we're literally Large just Collider, LHC at CERN in Geneva. we're literally Station just doing the um, the cargo runs. No mission crates or anything like that. Order to discover their constituent parts and the quantum laws that govern their behaviour. All right, it's this one here that I need to go to. Too far over. Front shields increase. Balance shields. Sure. All right. You're welcome. Power down the ship. Ship offline. Open all doors. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we go, the second place. <clears throat> uh, the last place I sold 96,000 UECs worth of cargo. If I can do the same here, then I literally only have one more place to go, and that's all the cargo sold. And then I can go to the next stage of the, um, the trading cycle. Yeah, we go, 96,000. So, got it. Right, I've now got more money than what I started with now. I've literally just overtaken my starting um, my starting money because I had... Uh, I started off with... Oh, no, 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 tell a lie, I'm wrong. I started off with 462099, so I'm just under what I started with. Okay, let's go. Actually, where am I going next? Um, I need to go to Edmund next. Edmund, and if um, if I haven't emptied everything out, it'll be Pinewood. 
Yeah, I say the, the cargo's starting to disappear out the hold now. Right, so off to Edmund. I do hope this is going to clear me out. That way I don't have to do any more of this. Ready ship for launch. Affirmative. Close all doors. Acknowledged. Lock doors. Locking gimbal weapons. No, that's not what I said. Departure handover. Ascending, retracting modules. Handing you. Enable cruise. Engage cruise. Right, let's get up to 2,500 feet and I'll be able to pick my next um, destination. Four. Open star map. Sometimes Astra and off go on. Okay, I can see Pine uh, Edmund over here. This is where we want to go. Close star map. That's affirmative, dude. Where we go? With any luck, it'll be daylight on the other side of the planet. No, not quite. I think it, um, it's just just before just before daybreak. So by the time I've landed and done everything I need to do, uh, the sun should be coming up. Unless that is a sunset, I don't know. I can't really tell. Deploy landing gear. Gear down and slow it. I do love the head tracking on this game. Don't need to use uh, VR. You don't need to use Track IR. Um, literally, use your own webcam, and it tra tracks all your head movement. It's perfect. Could have used this technology a few years ago. Okay. Now, as I said, hopefully this should be the last of the cargo that I need to sell, and then I can go to the next stage of the trading run. Um, <clears throat> the next stage is a pick-up and a drop-off at Lawville. Once I've done that, I'll be going to Lyria to get the final, um, the final cargo, and then back to Grimhex, or anywhere on um, Yella. To be fair, it could be Grimhex, it could be... Um, portal so it doesn't really matter okay here we are lights on lights on I used to like doing all the um, the drug hauling back in the day but they've made it so um, awkward to do now because um, you can't sell everything in a lump sum and it's a bit of a pain Geosynchronous orbit, an orbit in which a satellite's orbital velocity is matched to the rotational velocity of the planet. A spacecraft in geosynchronous orbit appears to hang motionless above one position of a planet's surface. Open all doors. Affirmative, Captain. Power down the ship. Ship offline. Thank you. You're welcome, sir.
I generally I wouldn't leave my ship like wide open like that, but because I'm not I'm not taking um, taking my time, I'm actually rushing this. Um, there shouldn't be anybody around here anyway, and by the time anybody does land um, and get out, I would have already done what I needed to do. Uh, but it's always good to scout the area, make sure there's nobody, there's no other ships here. And uh, to everyone watching the stream today, how are you today? I'm hoping you're having a very good Wednesday. Um, it's um, nearly 11am in the morning here in the UK. Yeah, I should be able to, that's it. All source cargo. Right, we are now done. Yep, there we go, gone over. It was 4.6 before, it's now 4.9. So, I've definitely jumped a considerable amount. We can now go to stage two of the cargo cycle. So we... What the hell? Um, so we left um, Port Olisar, we went down to Deakins on Yella, and we, we literally filled up the entire cargo with... Um, uh, medical supplies and we've sold them to free outposts here on Hurston. I'm now going to go to one of the moons on Hurston and pick up my next uh, next um, cargo. See again this is the problem it, it shows that there's cargo on board still but there isn't I've just sold everything so they still haven't got that fixed yet. Ready ship for launch. Close all doors. Heavy takeoff. Ascending to 30 meters, retracting modules and Enable cruise. Okay, I might be able to do this, I might not. I just need to get to 2,500 metres. We're now going to be leaving the planet. Now, usually you'd need to leave the atmosphere to do what I'm about to do, but so we'll see whether I can do it or not. Open star map. No, that's not where I want to go. Close star map. Yep, I can do it. I don't even I don't even need to leave the atmosphere. So look, I'm I'm just over eight thousand feet and I'm able to leave Hurston without jumping out of the atmosphere. It saves you a lot of time. A lot of time. Now this this looks like I'm actually um, <clears throat> this look, actually looks like I'm um, trying to get onto the surface of the sun. A very very bright moon this. Engage jump drive. Pull your finger out, you lazy bastard! Right, this, this is not very easy on the eyes. Oh. Right, so I'm 20, 20 kilometers away.
So we're nearly we're, we're nearly halfway. We're nearly halfway into doing this um, into doing this cycle. Um, I probably should have timed it actually because um, a lot of people like to know the the time versus profit sort of ratio. I didn't realize, so I wasn't I wasn't even um, powered up then. <clears throat> I think next time what I'll try and do is have like a, a timer on on the screen to show like like a not a stopwatch but yeah an actual timer that shows the starting point to the finishing point um, and also a calculator that calculates how much money I've earned um, just so people have an idea of what to do. I mean, when they start adding more systems into the game, then that's going to throw everything completely off because um, the economy will be changed considerably. Deploy landing gear. Gear down and slurry. The ship's yours to talk. Thank you. You're welcome, Captain. I try and explain how our minds in the neural network function with regards to what humans perceive as our emotions. The problem is, the human mind would take over 200 Lights years off. to have even a chance. Lights off. See, this outpost is very, very difficult to see because it's so bright here. Is that, is that the one I want? I think it is. Yeah, that's the one I want. Okay. Open all doors. That's affirmative. Power down the ship. Ship offline. Gotta love the fact that I've got William Shatner on my ship. Right, so now we are buying items. These crates should not exist because everything's been sold. It should be completely empty. Oh fucking hell, that was close. I'm right on the edge of the um, the pad there. Okay. <clears throat> It kind of looks like the surface of Mars, but from space it looks like the surface of the of the Sun. Right, so we are going to be buying. I can't see anything because there's a laranite. I think I think it's laranite. Let me just check. Yes, laranite. Standing by. What do you mean standing by? What have I asked you to do? Can I buy it? Can I buy it? Is that has that been bugged out? Yeah, I can't buy any. Oh, it looks like I'm just going to have to get titanium instead then. Yeah, it's not letting me buy any laranite. Okay, right, well, t titanium it is then. Okay, normally I would be buying laranite, so that's completely thrown, thrown that off. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. No, let's go to the other station. There is another station that I can go to first. Because um, I don't even need to go out the atmosphere because the other station is just down the road, so I can fly straight to it. I mean, I want to get some laranite on, on board. Um, I'm not sure why that wasn't allowing me to buy it. It, that, it could be that that terminal was just bugged or they don't actually have any in stock, but then they would usually say that. The problem is you do get quite a few um, caterpillars that come down here and like take all the stock completely. Right, 
Ready ship for launch. That's affirmative. Close all doors. Departure handover. Ascending, retracting modules. Handing you the clock. Alright, where is it? It's going to be... Is it over there? No, that's a uh, orbital marker 4. That looks more like it. Yeah, this is where we want to go. It's 44 uh, kilometres away. get some height. <clears throat> now normally I would have Laronite on board now but for some reason um, that station wasn't really um, letting me buy any so I've got one more stop to go to on this planet which is just just over here actually I don't even need to I don't even need to leave the system it's only 30, 38 kilometers away. If I get high enough I should be able to get more speed. But normally I'll go straight to um, to the first station, um, pick up what I needed, and then leave. But because I, because I couldn't get what I needed, we're going to have to try this one instead. And if it doesn't have it here, then what we'll do is we'll go straight to um, we'll go straight to what's it called? I've forgotten the name of it. Lyria. Because the, uh, the cargo that I'm picking up now, the Laronite, has to go to the central business district on Lawville. And if they don't stock it here and they just sell titanium, then there's no point me doing that run. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to cut part of the route out by doing this. Oh shit. I forgot to close the doors. No. Deploy landing gear. Landing modules deployed. Okay, we're now approaching the final, uh, the final um, outpost on this uh, moon. So, what they have on in stock here uh, will determine on what happens next. Um, because, like I said, I, I would normally um, pick up a load of Laronite and go to the central business district on Lawville. But if they don't have it here, then we're going to skip part of the trade route and go straight to the next one. Which makes it quicker. It does make it quicker, don't get me wrong. But you lose a bit of money by not doing it. And I can't really fully show you a full demonstration of this full trade route cycle if I don't do it. But you get the idea. Okay, let's uh, slow down to landing speed. I should give it a bit more boost. We're not quite there yet. And here we go. Open all doors. As you wish. Power down the ship. Ship offline. <laughs> yeah, another thing about not doing this stage of the um, of the route as well, if I'm unable to do it, is that I usually refuel at 
Lawville as well um, because I'm halfway through the trade route cycle um, it's always good to refuel halfway so you don't get caught out and have to st use one of the truck stops before finishing your job so I'm hoping that Sinister I do hate it when she just starts chatting like that. Aha, I can buy it here. Right, that's good. 292, max available stock, got it. Right, I'm not going to buy any titanium. I'm going to go straight to I'm going to go straight to Lawville now. Um, right, so we, we get to do we get to do the full trade route, which is good, and we also get to refuel as well. This is perfect. Everything's going well. And again, the cargo has completely vanished from my ship and not filled up like it should have done. Close all doors. That's affirmative. Power up the ship. Executing now. Departure handover. Ascending to thirty meters, retracting modules, and in you. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> well, that's good. Now, now that I can, um, now I can show you the full trade route because I've got what I needed, and also get to refuel. The um, Lawville as well. Open star map. Close star map. Engage jump drive. Hyperspace jump engage. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, wait for the cool down. There we go. Now this is the part that takes um, takes a lot of time. Uh, this is one thing I don't like about Star Citizen, especially at Lawville and Area 18, is that you've got to go through all the trams and the trains and all that sort of thing, and I just find it annoying because it takes a lot of time out of what you're trying to do. I do believe that... Um, um, Tisa Spaceport and Rikers Spaceport on Area 18 should have trading posts um, at the actual airport itself, so you can literally just land, um, get out your sh hey, what's going on here? Um, land, get out your ship, sell your goods, get back in your ship and go, without having to go through all that bullshit and the trains, because that really is annoying. Uh, lower landing gear. Deploy landing gear. landing gear. deployed. Awesomeness. Lights on. Lights on. Oh, I've got Got to get the finishes to calibrate, otherwise I'll keep hearing that calibrating sound if I don't. Right, that's it. Young's double slit experiment in 1801. Thomas Young proved light was a wave and overthrew Newton's idea that light was a corpuscle. Open contacts. 
not quite yet. Close contacts. I need to get closer. Open contacts. contacts. Yeah, you can do it now. Close contacts. Okay, dude. Disable crews. Disengage crews. Cancel crews. I can't remember what the um, command for that was. It means I have to be. I have to do my own job and press a button with my own finger. Lights on. Lights on. No, they were on. Right, it's come down nice and slow. Oh, this is what annoys me. This is when, um, because I don't have an SSD yet. I'm actually getting an SSD for Christmas. Because I don't have an SSD, the um, some of the textures and geometry doesn't render straight away, so I have to wait for it to pop in. Because if I try and land in that now, um, I'm just going to go through the floor. So I'm just going to have to wait now. And the thing is, I don't like waiting around over ports like this because you get idiots that try and ram you. I could just stick my nose in. Sometimes that kick starts it, but not always. No. Right, so I'll just, just hang. I'll just kind of just sit here and look into the void. Any time, come on. Ah, there we go. Is that is that it? I think that's it. Yes, right. Okay. Didn't have to wait too long that time. That's good. Oh shit. Perfect. Lights off. Lights off. Landing complete. Thank you. You're welcome, Captain. Right. I need quantum. F Actually, no. I'm gonna do quantum fuel last. Let's just re do, do these first. Right. Is that filling up? Yeah, that's filling up. That's brilliant. That's what we wanted. Perfect. Becoming a leader is a dangerous journey. And hydrogen fuel, we fill that up too. Uh, power down the ship. Power down the ship. Ship offline. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, this hold should be absolutely full of cargo. But it's not. Alright, as I'm on Lawville, I need to change into my civvies to blend in, because uh, there's no point wearing a spacesuit when I'm in an atmospheric planet, and I'm not doing any flying, so let's change over to my civvies. Plus, it also helps because when you're in your civvies, you can run faster and longer, because um, when you've got all your, um, all your armour on and all your guns and all that sort of thing, um, it does slow you down considerably. I actually need to calibrate my camera. Right, 
Now, because I'm doing, as I said, because I'm doing a lot of running, because I need to go through the spaceport, through the trams and all that sort of thing, the train, the underground system, um, I don't want to be running out of breath every few minutes. So we're now going to go to the, um, the central business district and sell off the cargo that I just got from uh, Ariel. Although while I'm here, I might see if there are any um, mission crate delivery box missions to do um, that I can take f back back home with me, just just for an extra um, 6k bonus, just to kind of finish off with um, with some extra money. Uh, right, where are we going? That one is the central business district. This is the one we want. Run. I've made it. Perfect. Well, I can actually calibrate my um, my camera now. Because uh, my character's got his eyes closed. Burn it with fire. Stand by distancing to thirty meters. This has definitely got a very kind of um, Blade Runner feel to the um, to the city. Look at him run. Just have to remember to change back into my spacesuit, otherwise I'm going to end up walking out into a vacuum and dying. Did I just hurt myself? I think I did. How, how the hell did I just hurt myself? I need to... Um, I'm actually going to have to use this so that I can get myself a Medipen. That's better. Oh, you know what, I might as well just stay in this now. Okay, let's go sell my stock, and then finally off to Lyria. Hello? You gonna let me in? Oh, you know what, I'll just do it here. 
Right, so. Misc Freelancer Max, Laronites. 3.30.584. Yes. Thank you. Got it. We've now jumped up to 5.30.880. Got the final stage now. We're going to go to um, Lyria. We're going to get a final a bunch of cargo and come straight back to... Um, to either Port Olisar or uh, what's it called? Um, Yella. If there's a train waiting here, we will jump straight on it. If not, I just want to see if there's any box missions that I can do to uh, increase um, increase my final money. Because like I said, when you do these trading routes, when you're doing what I've been doing, it's always good to have a couple of boxes, uh, box missions as well, because that will drastically increase your final money. Oh, we just missed the train, so I've got time. Um, yeah. And you can get a considerable boost in final profits from doing this. We were just there. We're not going to go back there now, so. Now arriving from Tisa Spaceport. Stand by and let passengers disembark before boarding. <laughs> oh, I've got a second. I saw I can do this. I can do this. Uh... No. Fortunately, they're not. They're not going to any of the places we're going to. As I said earlier, um, I will do box missions. Providing that the pickup, providing that the pickup and drop-off places are the exact places I'm going to, I will not divert off to other planets or other stations just to do a box mission because that just takes extra time. So if there was a box mission there that needed to be picked up at the Loveridge Mineral or, or on um, uh, Lyria and delivered to Grim Hex or Port Olisar, I'd have accepted that because those are both my pick up and drop off areas. Getting a bit of a... Uh, oh, there we go. Bit of desync there. Come on, catch up, catch up. Alright, back again. Right, they've claimed my ship, which, I was, which is to be expected because I spent so long um, going from the, the business district I'm back in my spacesuit again, that's good. Hang a nine. Perfect. Right, let's go. We are refueled, we are restocked, 
so this is the final stage, well, I say final, semi-final stage to the uh, the trade route. Oh, I'm at the wrong hangar. It's hangar 9 I need, not 8. I was just looking at the stream there and I saw... I saw where the screen where it's supposed to be. There we go. Okay. Now this trade route isn't restricted to the Freelancer Max or Freelancer in general. You can do this in any ship. I mean, you can do this in um, a Cutlass, um, you can do this in a Constellation. Hell, you could even do it in, a, in an Avenger if you want. Um, but just be aware that th those, uh, those ships all have lower storage capabilities, so you're not going to make as much money. It's going to be considerable less. Um, if you've got a Caterpillar, then yeah, you're going to make much more than I make. Ready ship for launch. Okay, Captain. Open contacts. contacts. Close contacts. Okay, dude. Yeah, so if you if you're using a caterpillar, then yeah, like I said, you are gonna make a considerable more amount of money than I'm making. Um That's if you're able to get a full ship's worth of stock on board. Um, however, the, the cargo that I've been using today um, all has limits. Humans have always suggested gaining knowledge by observation. Retract landing gear. Landing module retract. Remember if you're contemplating a career change to contact one of them to report managers the information by insight. <clears throat> I'm going to wait until I leave the armistice zone before I um, plot my next course. The problem with the Freelancer Max is it takes a long time. It takes a long time to build up enough speed to um, to get out of the atmosphere. I think as soon as I get to around about twenty-five thousand, I leave the Armistice Zone. Could be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. There we go. Open star map. There we go. We're going to Art Corp and Lyria. Uh, cell 2. Where's cell 2? There it is, cell 2. No. Close star map. Right away, Captain. See, I can probably do this without actually jumping out, leaving leaving the atmosphere completely.
Again, it doesn't seem to work with other ships, but it seems to work with this one. I don't know why. No. I can't do that one. I actually do actually have to leave the atmosphere for this. So I can I can go to um, other stations around the planet on Hurston, and I can go to one of its moons, but for some reason I can't go to an OM waypoint or another system, another part of the system. Okay. Our corp, 22,000, sorry, 20, 22 million kilometers away. Engage jump drive. Hyperspace jump. So what was the point of that? Are there any pirates? Doesn't appear like it. Well, let's carry on with what I was doing then. I mean that, that was either going to be a um, a police check stop or a pirate stop, but they just didn't render in or load in, so. I thought it was going to be a crash then. Bloody hell. It just kind of froze and I thought it was going to crash. But it's okay because even if it does crash, I've got no cargo on board. I kind of noticed that the uh, the music pack didn't work when I uh, asked it to earlier on. I was going to have some um, some background uh, music playing, but not important.
just all tabbed out and while, while we're jumping I'm just doing something else at the moment So glad that the ship is um, a little bit faster than um, um, my, my old Avenger that I used to have. That was a really slow ship, that was. Yeah, the Prospector and the Avenger take a long time to get from A to B. I am looking forward to the uh, the future of Star Citizen when they um, I'm hoping going to start add, adding more modules um, for your ships. So besides having the quantum drives, shield drives, um, coolers, and power plants, there, there should be um, some extra um, additional micro modules that you can add to give you um, extra um, jump boosts um, and things like that. And, and like hole repair, I mean I'm obviously trying not to co like, like copy um, Elite Dangerous too much with some of their modules, but um, having its own extra modules for your ship would be would be nice. Um, like having a because <coughs> pretty soon they're going to be adding the ability to um, do um, cutting into into your ship, so that you can literally like break into somebody's ship and take it over. Um, there should be like a module, um, so if, you, if you've got a bounty on your head and you know that bounty hunters are going to come for you, they're going to end up disabling your ship, um, or if they're sneaky enough, because there's a lot of sneaky players out there that basically hang around your ship, wait for you to get on, and then they sneak aboard, um, there should be a module, um, like a ship scanner, that, that, that can alert you when there's an intruder on your ship. You know that would be awesome. That would because that way you'd know that you're not alone, and you could be lying in wait in your cockpit. So when they come running in to shoot you in the back of the head, you're already there waiting for them. <clears throat> That'd be cool. Right. Okay. Approaching Art Corp. Although well, we are. Oh, here we go again. I seem to be getting interdicted every single time I approach a planet now. Right, okay, I'm being attacked. Let's go to combat. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going way too fast, way too fast. Uh, right, where's the hostile? Oh, it's a cutlass. Okay, I'm just going to give you the good news. So I've got some really powerful guns on this ship now. It should only take a few hits from this and... Uh, they. Oh, to be fair, he's, he's already been taken out by the other AI there. There's another AI already, already fighting him. See, my ship takes a long time to turn. Boom. There you go. That's affirmative, Captain. I killed him. Right, let's carry on with what I was doing. So I don't think he was taking, he was like pulling me out of hyperspace or quantum space to, to fight me. I think it's whenever there's a battle going on you get automatically like, taken out of it. But it is a pain in the ass because I've noticed that every single um, planet that I've uh, jumped to there's been, um, there's been an interdiction.
Right, let's make this quick. Go to Lyria, pick up my last cargo, then go back to Grim Hex. I'll probably go to Port Olisar, actually. One thing I have noticed with the, this patch um, is your systems don't seem to overheat anymore. Um, I used to get this issue when I was doing jumps. Um, about halfway or three quarters of the way through the jump, my system would um, overheat, and I'd have to turn all my um, I think my, my hyperdrive to low. So we, they don't overheat as much as they used to anymore, which is cool. Right, we're going down to Sal Two. Was it Shubin Mining Facility Cell 2? Now, with any luck, I should be able to fill up my hold with um, most of what I need here. It, if I don't get everything I need, um, I'll just um, back it up with. Um, I think it's. Is it titanium? I think it's titanium. Yeah. Ag Agrisium and uh, titanium, that's what I'm after. Deploy landing gear. Loading landing gear. I say. Very good, sir. Let's give it a bit of boost. So the problem with Valyria is it's very hard to see the waypoints because it's very it's a very bright planet. I'm not going to bother with any box missions, um, which is probably better actually because you get to see how much you earn just by doing this without the box missions thrown on top. Um, we've, we've managed to go to every single stop on the way for this cycle. lost it. Where is it? Oh, fuck. It's right here. I was about to overshoot that. Jesus. It's a lot closer than I thought it was. That's the one we want. Open all doors. Power down the ship. Ship offline. Right. Let's say I'll either come here or Loveridge Mineral Ore. Um, it all depends on how much I end up picking up from here. Um, because if I don't get what I want, I might have to go to Loveridge. You know what? No, screw that. I'm just going to go here. Pick up what I need. If I don't get all, if I don't fill the ship completely, I'll just top it up with titanium. Some systems that have been discovered have life forms of bacteria, primitive types of fish, and the like. It is believed that there may also be intelligent life throughout the galaxy. If you made a decision to make exploration your number one priority, the odds of finding intelligent life would favor you more. I'm sure information about intelligent life already exists. It is classified for the moment. I'll let you know when I find out more. Right, okay. I didn't get a full amount of um, Agrisium or whatever it's called. Um, so I've had to top it up with Titanium. So usually I get a lot more than what I, um, what I have right now. Um, although I would actually go around to... Um, I would go around to the other system. Um, what's it called? Um... Loveridge, just to top up with um, Agrisium, just so that I've got as much as I can carry. But just for timing reasons, I'm not going to go do that. I'm going to go straight back to um, straight back to Port Olisar.
Ready ship for launch. Close all doors. Heavy takeoff. Stand by distancing to 30 meters. Okay, so just a reminder, we started off with 462099. That was our starting point. We're now going to our final stage now. Final stage, and um, we're going to sell this off, and we've done an entire um, system cycle of trading. We've gone to every major part of the system. We've bought and sold from each. Open star map. And we're now going to go back to Port Olisar where I started. Closed our map. That's affirmative Well, I'm more than likely going to get interdicted at least once on this journey, because that's what I've noticed so far. Engage system jump. So Catastrophic failure imminent. <laughs> no, no, seriously. All systems nominal. Engage jump drive. Ooh, I buggered that up, didn't I? Mm. Right, this is going to be the longest jump because this is 42 million kilometres. So, any second I'm going to get interdicted, as I have all the other times. Or not. Oh, well, it looks like I'm going to make the, the entire trip. Right, so just as a recap on what I've done for this entire um, trading cycle. I started off at uh, Port Olisar. I went over to Yella and picked up medical supplies from a Deakins research um, facility. Um, I had a full... Um, hold full of cargo. I left um, Yella and went straight to Hurston, and I stopped off at three of the um, three of the outposts around Hurston. Um, Opera, I think it's called. I can't pronounce it. Hadley and Edward. Those are the three outposts that I went to to clear off all my cargo. Unfortunately, you can't sell your entire hold at one space at one stop because um, it has a limit on how much you can sell. So, luckily enough, I was able to sell the maximum amount I was able to on each of those um, stops. Uh, once I left um, the Edwards outpost, we then went to Ariel, and we went to both of the um, the outposts there. There's only two on Ariel, and we stocked up on Laranites. We filled up the hold with Laranites. We then left Ariel and went to um, Lawville and we jumped on the train and went to the central business district and sold all of the Laranite there. I made sure that my ship was then refueled um, because that, that's kind of like the midpoint for the journey. Um, filled, up the, um, filled up the ship so I had full fuel. Uh, left Hurston and we went over to Lyria. Um, in the um, Art Corp system. Uh, went to um, the Shubin Mining Facility SAL2. Uh, sometimes, like I say, usually I, I, I go to there and I also go to Loveridge because I try to maximise the amount of cargo that I've got. Um, and we um, we picked up Agriseum, or Agricult, I can't pronounce the word what it is. Um, I didn't get too much, I think I only got 100,000. A UEC's worth of units. Um, usually I would have gone over to Loveridge and topped it up again, but we only, we only did one That's stop. Um, and then I filled up the remainder of the hole with uh, titanium. 
Um, and now to round up the trip and to end the trip, we are now heading back to Crusader, where we where we originally started. And I'm going to sell it all at Port Olisar. Um, usually I do go to Grim Hex because um, Grim Hex is a good starting point because if you sell everything at Grim Hex you're right in front of Yellow which means you can go straight down to the surface and continue and start this cycle all over again at Deakin's research um, facility. But Port Olisar for ending the, uh, the cycle is quite good because you don't have to jump from Crusader to Yella, Yella to Grim Hex. I can go straight to Crusader and then to Port Olisar. But once we've once we've got to Port Olisar, um, I will then do a final calculation of how much money we have earned from this trip. Um, I'll give you a starting point, a finishing point, and the total money earned from doing all this trading. I mean, it's probably been a good hour, hour and twenty minutes um, from start to finish. I know we haven't quite finished yet; we're still getting back there. But I have been keeping an eye on the time. I probably should have kept an eye on the time when um, when I first started. Actually, saying that, can I check it now? I should be able to check from when I first started streaming. Actually, uh, it doesn't say on there. Although I will be able oh, oh yeah we go. Um we've been streaming for one hour and forty nine minutes. So this is just under two hours worth of um just two hours worth of a of a cargo um cycle. By the time I get to Crusader and I land at Port Olisar and I've um, unloaded everything, it's just gonna be short of two hours. Although it would have been longer if I did do the um the Loveridge. If I went to if I went to the the Loveridge uh, mining area on Lyria, that would have um, the time it would have taken to get there to jump out to um, to fill up my ship and leave there. It would have probably taken a little bit, probably about five five more minutes, five ten more minutes. But we're going to go straight back to Crusader and I'm going to unload just just to make this video as quick as possible. And once we've once once I've landed there, um, I'll wrap this up and uh, end the stream there. But it's it's just interesting for everybody to see how much it how much money you make just by doing this. Uh, this is in the Freelancer Max. As I said earlier, you can do this in any ship. Um, as I said, if you do it in the the Cutlass, the end, um, the, the the Constellation, or the Avenger, you will earn a considerably less amount of money because of the storage on them um, is a lot lower than what I have on this ship. If you're using a um, Caterpillar, you will earn a considerable more amount of money because, again, the um, the Caterpillar has a hell of a lot more storage. It has about 500 um, 500 spaces, whereas this has 120 spaces. So you can you can pretty much imagine how much more the um, the Caterpillar is going to make by doing this run. Um, but anything smaller, I mean, it's, I wouldn't even bother doing this run in a um, in an uh, what's, it, what's, it, what's it called? An, an Aurora or an Avenger? Simply because the storage on them is so small, it's not worth doing these runs. You'd make much more money just by doing um, local um, crate missions. You know, it's, it's just it's just not really feasible for you to do that in that. But yeah, you know, I probably would say it was worth doing it in in a um, in a Cutlass, and it's definitely worth doing it in a um, in a Caterpillar because you can make millions doing this. We're now approaching the system, and um, hopefully, so long as there's no other issues, I can land, unload, and then do a final calculation of how much money we've earned during this run. I mean, some people find that the whole trading thing can be long, slow, boring. Um, yeah, sometimes it can be, but again, you've got to do what makes the money. Uh, you can't all be bounty hunters. Um, I would like to do a drug haul um, demonstration on my next stream, basically going down to um, where you can get SLAM or ETAM or whatever for the most amount of money. Because Black Widow used to be the... Um, was it Black Widow? Oh, sorry, Widow. Used to be the um, 
the one that made you the most money, but they've completely changed the economy on the um, the narcotic side. So it seems that Etam and Slam are the two um, highest money makers at the moment, and you don't even need to go to um, Jump Town. Um, that's that's not even the best place to go anymore, because we've now got stash houses and drug labs all over the system now. Um, it's just knowing where they are, knowing how to find them, um, and being able to sell them at the best place. But again, with those, it's a situation where you can't usually unload all your cargo all in one lump sum. Yeah, it does seem that the um, the uh, the, uh, the Art Corp Lyria to Crusader is the longest because they seem to be the furthest away from each other. So you do have to go a very long way to um, to get to them. But once you've got there, you can sell it all off. Yeah, usually when I do one of these trade route cycles, I will then kind of go and do something else because, like I said, it's just taken just under just under two hours to um, to do this entire. Um, cycle. Um, if you, you can actually just, if if you wanted to, you don't have to do the full thing. You can just go from um, um, Yella straight to Lyria and Lyria back back to um, Port Olisar. And I told you I'd get interdicted, and I've just been interdicted. And it's going to be a, is it a scan? No, it's not a scan. Oh, I'll leave them to it. They're, they're fighting. Let them fight. So I was saying, when I want to do a short um, cargo run, I'll literally just go from um, from Deakin's Research straight to Lyria, because the medical supplies you can sell at um, Loveridge Mineral or and SLA two and five as well. So you can literally just do half of um, half of this cycle by doing that. All right, here we go. Port Olisar. Let's go. Let's unload and do our final count. Alright, just bearing in mind that this is pure cargo runs. We're not doing we didn't do any box missions or anything like that, although box missions would severely increase the amount of money you're gonna earn at the end of this. Providing that you only pick up and drop off the um, the missions at places that you are going to on the way, you don't want to make any diversions or have to go to different planets that you're not actually heading to because that just adds more to the time. Deploy landing gear. Gear down and slow it. Open contacts. Close contacts. In life, the greatest danger is not taking the adventure at all. Pad. Warning, you are blocking an active flight bay. 
No, I'm not. Power down the ship. Ship offline. Didn't quite land properly there, did I? Probably going to get fined for this. That's going to help me actually, because if you're going to if you're going to take the ship away, then nobody's going to destroy it while I do this. Okay, here we go. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you. Okay, ship has been stored. I've got a parking violation. Even though I did land properly, I didn't. Oh, 250? Yeah, I can live with that. Okay, right, let's sell all this. Right, okay, so we ended with 562298. So let me just type that into my calculator. So was it uh, 562298? So let's put this into the calculator and see how much money we've earned from this entire trip. Give the uh, calculator time to uh, load up. Okay, so I'm now going to do a final count on what we have earned. Four, six, two, oh, nine, nine. Okay, we have earned one hundred thousand one nine nine UEC. There you go. That two hour trip has just earned us 1,000 UEC. So it's around about 50,000 per hour um, for doing what I've just done. That's how you make the money. There you go. And I didn't even do a single box mission or anything. Now if I, had, if I did two, one or two box missions on the way there, or one or two box missions on the way back, <coughs> Um, you're looking around about 24,000 on top of that. So, yeah, there you go. That's um, That would have been 124,000 if I did a load of box missions. So that is how you do it. So you've, you've seen it all in front of me. You've seen how I've done it. And uh, that's how you make money doing my trade route cycle. Uh, you can do that as many times as you want. You can you can do half of that. You can do parts of it. You don't have to do the whole thing. Um, but that is it. So um, yep, I'm going to end the stream here on that on that route. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I will see you next time. And thank you for the follow, Panic Attack. If you're still watching, I will follow you back once I get off. So um, until next time, I will see you later.